right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna bring y'all the the uh, Runic branded Chimera uh, deck that I've been playing. It's pretty fun. Like, <laughs> sorry for my son in the background. It's Daddy Day. I just want to make this quick video. So like, the deck is fine. Uh, the deck count is 50. Uh, I just decided to bump it up because I just want to play like more like uh, non-engine cards and sometimes like more engine cards just to help uh, control the game, get resources and stuff like that. There's definitely changes to the deck that can be made, uh, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. So we're just going to start out with the main part, well, parts I guess. So we played Triple Quartal. Uh, you play this just because this is the best card. I misplayed with this card so many times, it literally just lost me matches. Because this protects, uh, when you have the fusion, it protects your fountain from being targeted. And then like, you just have an extra layer. This is one card combo, like this plus fountain, or this plus any rooted card, just helps you just plus a lot more. Uh, yeah, I just hate the fact that I misplayed one game because I forgot I had it in my graveyard. Uh, the next card is the full card with your search office. Elijah. Just a little bit, lower voice, okay? Thank you. Uh, this is um, Sword Knight. Sword Knight's your monster negate when you control the fusion that negates stuff on the field. Um, and then basically, this, this is also one card combo. Like this plus bottle is really good. Uh, you have so many ways to get into these cards. I get these kind of, this is always astral though. So like, uh, it's fine. But like, you have so many astral targets in this. Like they ash one, you play around the other. Next is uh, Gazelle. Uh, so this has a two effect, like majority of them. This one is normal, especially can search you birth from it with a quick play. Uh, and then if it's used as fuse material, it searches an illusion monster. Uh, I was originally playing this at two, but like I found the third kind of coming up a lot because like with your fountain draws, you can draw into these. Like or you can use them most, but like if you have to get into engine, you brand it, fusion, dump one. You only have one in deck. I just decided just like I just want to play it at three. Like no more playing it at two. I just want I just want that ability to. The another card I kind of want to play it too, uh, or play it three, is Burfamet. Burfamet is like MVP yeah. of the deck because like if you have no more Burfamet rotation, like it gets harder to like continue the illusion grind of the deck. But you already have a rented card, so it's like I just find this to be to play this at three would probably be more correct in regards because like any of your runic spells plus this still gets you into the same inboard. So like. And then it makes your sword lights. It just prolongs the longevity of the deck. But on normal, if you don't know what this card does, on normal special, it searches a uh, level four beast and a uh, chimera fusion. And you can do both. You don't have to search both. And then if it's used as fusion materials, it reborns an illusion monster. And that's part of that. And then we'll play three of the three chimera fusion. So I thought in some of my games I only played two, but it turns out I played three. So like this is just perfect plan. Quick play. The fusion effect is multiple. You can it's not once per turn, but the graveyard effect to add it back is a uh, hard once per turn. But like open multiple, it's like you can just spam Garnet Chimera. You can spam your fusions. Like it's just it's a very good card. Uh, <clears throat> it's not this pretty self-explanatory. And then so on to our branded engine. I decided to play two Alabas because playing one. Often or not, like, because you're drawing so many cards, you draw the one of. Or, like, if you have to do the Rimbrum play, this is stuck in your graveyard, and then your brain infusions are dead. I also play the one Dark Magician. So, my my thoughts on the, the Dark Magician is because you don't really get a battle phase, but making Dragoon with this just helps you get that extra damage reward so you're always roughly up in life or in control. Uh, in the game, people were saying that one dude said I was slow playing. I wasn't really like, slow playing, I wasn't trying to do anything like that, I didn't want it to seem that way. But uh, the inside, I was already up in the life of it, so it really didn't matter what was going to happen. I just wanted to make sure that I made the right play. And playing Dragoon just helped me put that extra burn damage uh, on that board. So, like, my opponent has to play more furiously while I'm trying to try to interact, control the board, whatever, how it may be. But really, it didn't matter. But, like, this could be Hex Seal. One person told me Hex Seal because I don't have this card for cost. But I, I only play this just because I like that burn damage. And Dragoon's a very boss, bossable card still. Uh, then three brand of fusion, self explanatory. So that's it for like that side of the engine. The next engine is pretty standard too, the runic engine. Just three tip, like tip is tip, banish one. Uh, three flash and fire, I mean, uh, freeze curses. This is imperm, banish two, I believe. Nope, banish three. Uh, flash and fire, pops special monster, banish two. Uh, destruction, probably the MVP. 
I was playing a Sky Striker. I just kept blowing up all the spells. And it banishes four. Uh, very good card. You can hit Birth. You can hit. Um, you can hit the. Uh, the Fire King Island. Like, you can hit a lot. You can hit HQ stuff like that. Like, I think it has very good uh, synergy and everything. Uh, and then three, three Slumber. Like, if you want to play like something less than Runa cards, you can probably cut this to two. But like, it's just a add a card. Going first so that you can get them free three banishes. Like, Phantom Monster being destroyed by card effect, targeting, like, stuff. Oh, by, destroys it by battle card effect, so, like, this can help. And then two Fountain. Like, that's all standard. Alright, and then to the non ninja that I started to play, like, I, I think Ash is obligatory. Like, you have to play three Ash. I think Ash should be in everyone's list if you have small um, engine slots, non engine slots. I think you should play three Ash. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's just, like, it's mid as hell. I uh, decided to put three Femur. I was playing this at two. But like firmware just does so much, summons itself, replaces itself, like puts a extra card in your hand for discard fodder, like banishes cards face down, like firmware plus this plus the board you have, like you can just out cards and they never come back. So I think it's fine. It's not needed, but you can play it. Another card, three suit poly. Uh, it's like getting that non-target, getting that non-destruction removal is very good. Guru is a very good card. Mud Dragon's a card, like, and they can't respond. So that's always pretty decent. And three Imperm is just one of those cards that you just draw. So Imperm's Imperm. And then I play one call by still. That's it. So it's 50 cards. You can definitely cut this down to like 40, maybe 45, but that's what I play right now. And then onto the extra deck. Uh, play one Dragoon. Dragoon is fine. Like I said, you'd like, you, if you don't want to play, you don't have to play. So you can definitely play something else. Uh, but this, if you didn't play this, you both play. Uh, the second Guardian Chimera. Uh, one Albion, one Mirror Jade, one Lebellion, and one Rimbrum. These are all, I kind of want it more, but like, you don't need to be greedy. Like, stick to a different build. Like, if you want to play heavy on the branded, just play a branded engine. Uh, so for that, and then I only put two Super Party targets for the most part, just these two, because they're really generic. Like, it just, this and the two fires, like, this is Ponyx and Garunix, just out both of them, they don't get to get triggered, stuff like that. Um, and then, for, we play one Jerry and two Hugin. Uh, Jerry comes up sometimes, but like, it's just there. And you can use these for the Chimera Fusion too, because they're free fodder. And then uh, Jerry's also a beast, so they, they can count if you're trying to make um, the king. Speaking of the king, play two. And then his dark kind of part, the other one. Uh, this one comes up sometimes, but not really. The only time this comes up is like if you're trying to live. Like you can summon this, dump something. You can dump a uh, sword knight if you banish one. Uh, then if it hits the grave, you can banish it, summon this. And if it hits the grave, you can banish summon something else. Like essentially, one body becomes three, so they never kill you. But uh, that's it for that. And then one guardian chimera. I kind of don't want to play one of this. I want to play it at two. Because Unicorn is now at three, so this is being getting ripped out of my extra deck a lot. And then one Magnum. Uh, but yeah, I think you should definitely play play two. I want to uh, switch between the three variations of uh, Chimera, which is like the Branded Chimera, Runic Chimera, and then this version, which kind of just throws it all together. So like just to see how I like it. So the extra deck. I played this time card, <laughs> and uh, I never really... It never really came up because I was always up in life. So like Dragoon burns real, or if you don't open up any runic cards, or if you play it right where you can do damage and then act the runic cards and then it's control the game state. But like this card's good. It's just like Quaddle. It also protects from targeting, but the thing about it is Quaddle's probably already in your graveyard, so you don't need to like summon this and like do stuff and, like waste your, uh, your non-battle and it gains life. But like, yeah, this shouldn't be here. This definitely shouldn't be in my side, but for that Quaddle. Uh, probably just play three belt. I play two belt. Uh, play just kind of like Fire King, stuff like that, best deals, whatever. It's probably for Fire King and Labyrinth, which none of those matchups are that crazy, honestly. Uh, triple talents, just because like you're always getting hand trap, your fountain never resolving, you're getting drolled, stuff like that. So you just want stuff to answer. Uh, I play Dark Ruler. It's just so I just threw it in there, honestly. It's just like going second, you Dark Ruler, and then like you pick apart boards. 
Um, in Dark Order, you can probably able to match because you don't get a battle phase that often. But like going second, like these two combos can like rid, can like end the whole combo. And then uh, for one more first cards, I played three summon limit. Uh, just to, like it just helps slow the game down, and that's literally about it. What's up, son? You okay. So yeah, it's like I just think three summon limit is fine, but uh, it just never came up. I never excited in. Yes. Okay, I'm coming. Uh, let me finish this up. I'll get you together, okay? So, tech cards. Uh, the new uh, Illusion Eye card. I have Illusion. This card's actually insane. Not once per turn. Let me see. Okay, I'm coming. Uh, not once per turn. Make sure Illusion monsters and your Spellcaster monsters can't be destroyed by battle for that turn. And if you can take a monster and you can, like, force uh, one of your other monster opponent's monsters to battle another monster. So now once we turn, like, this just helps you, like, they can't out your Dragoons anyway. They can't kill it by battle. Like, talents, they can try to take it, but if you play it right, they can't kill it by battle. So, like, what do you need to negate? You know what I mean? Typhon's really good, but if you if they summon Typhon, you activate our Evolution, you take the Typhon. Like, it's kind of crazy. Uh, and then they can't summon. So you probably should play a second Garden Chimera. This is optional as well. Uh, and then a third Birth from it, and then stop. Don't touch that. Go, Mr. Go, stay right here. You almost did something you ain't supposed to, okay? I got you. But, like, that's it. That's all the changes. Like, I think the only cards I probably play is, like, the High Illusion, maybe third birth from that. And the second, um, second of this. But, like, that's it. If you enjoyed, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Peace. Like a spider on your shoulder makes your skin crawl.